I'm back here at the antenna farm today and I'm uh, going to be uh, putting up a VHF antenna on this mast. Now this mast here is um, left over from uh, the terminated inverted U experiment I did, um, which if we're honest was a bit of a failure. Um, I, I kind of thought it would be but wanted to try it anyway. Uh, the problem was the earth rods in the ground were just too far apart so there was too much uh, resistance through the earth between the two rods but uh, it made quite a good receive antenna effectively it was acting as a beverage so it received quite well but uh, was uh, absolutely terrible as a transmit antenna but um, this gives me the opportunity to talk about coax cables because uh, the one thing that um, a lot of people get wrong they go out they buy an expensive radio they buy an expensive antenna and then they go and feed it with RG58 and especially once you get up on the VHF frequencies around the uh, 144 to 146 megahertz from the 2 meter band um, you can get a lot of loss in that cable and uh, I've um, got a MFJ antenna analyzer here which I can actually uh, test the loss in the cable and uh, if you've seen my previous videos you'll uh, know this blue box here contains uh, feeder for the uh, big um, quarter wave that's over there. It's about a 50 meter long run. I tested it on this and um, at 144 megahertz I'm losing 3 dBs. Now if you think back to your uh, training when you did your exam, 3 dBs is roughly half the power. So if, say I'm running QRP at, I don't know, 10 watts as a newly licensed M6 or I think they're on M7s now. If I put 10 watts into the antenna here, I'm going to get 5 watts down that end. If I put 50 watts in here, I'll get 25 down that end. 100 watts, 50 watts. So I'm losing half my power. And it's not just on transmit either, that's uh, on your receive as well. So the, the feeder cable is absolutely critical. Now I want to demonstrate that because uh, this is a bit of an RG58. Now you quite often hear people say they put an antenna up on the roof, it's got a 20 meter runner feeder cable and they're feeding it with RG58. So let me put this on the antenna analyzer, let it go through its boot up cycle and here you go, we'll go on to the other camera here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see that the sunlight makes it a bit difficult to see. So hold on, let's go into mode coax loss. Now we're on 145.3 near enough, so that's near enough slap bang in the centre of the 2 metre band. And this RG58, which uh, is only about 5 or 6 metres long, I'm getting 1.2 dBs loss. So that's uh, roughly almost a quarter of my power gone in that feeder cable by the time it gets to the top of the mast at 2 metres. Now obviously you go down lower in frequency then uh, it'll be less than that. Now let's compare it to this thick cable. This is what I'm actually going to use for my uh, 2 meter 70 stems antenna which I'm going to put on this mast. This is um, Westlex 103, so fairly thick cable, quite good characteristics, uh, fairly low loss and this is uh, probably, I think I measured it as about 10 meters. So let's go back onto the other camera and at the same frequency, uh, 145 or just over 145 megahertz, the loss is 0.6 dB. So basically it's half the loss. At two meters, it's half the loss of RG58. And this cable is probably about twice as long. So that is going to benefit me on both transmit and receive. And uh, that's actually quite a big difference. So uh, there you go. The, the point to take home from this and the point I'm trying to make is that your feeder cable is absolutely critical. You need a nice low loss feeder cable, especially at higher frequencies up. Um, like I say, 2 meters, 70 stems, you get a lot of loss then. If you go into the microwave frequencies, you get even more loss and it becomes even more critical. So shortest run possible and uh, nice, thick, 
low loss cable don't skimp out on the cheap stuff not at VHF you might get away with that on uh, lower HF frequencies sort of uh, maybe 40 80 meters 160 meters you might get away with it but uh, not at VHF and uh, it's very much a compromise you need the shortest run possible but you want to get your antenna as high as possible um, above the ground uh, to clear all the other objects uh, buildings I mean here we haven't got many buildings but uh, got quite a few trees surrounding so I want to get the antenna um, up above all the trees and uh, this mast is six meters I've um, actually extended it here with uh, about another uh, three meters on here so uh, my antenna is going to be about 10 meters off the ground so feeder cable there about 10 meters might have to uh, have um, well I'll have a quick connection point anyway because uh, I don't leave the radios down here and I quite often run it into the caravan so I'll bring that feeder cable to the base of the mast and then um, just a quick run into the uh, into the caravan so uh, shortest run possible highest antenna possible it's like I say it's a bit of a compromise or a bit of a balance between the two and uh, the lowest loss coax you can possibly find absolutely critical <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.